get everyone be Asian day here we're going to look into this Dell Optiplex 77 Ultra now this is a very interesting form factor and you're wondering why the monitor is turned off because I'm going to show the features of this computer now I want to first make a big thank you to the Dell ANZ team for sending this review unit for me to have a look at and I am not sponsored or paid by Dell to actually create this review video and all the pins are of my own of course and after I finish the review video I will be sending this unit back to Dell now I will also be looking at the temperatures and fan noise of this computer and I will be creating timestamps along this video just to make it easier for you to navigate through this video as well too so let's go find this computer here so i'm going to actually turn this computer to its run to its back and there is a nice little tab at the bottom here it's a little bit different to your other monitor stands i'm just after you push it forwards towards the monitor and then you just lift this up and then you'll find this actually comes out, the back end comes out. Now on the back end here, there's a little tab. I'm just gonna pull this down, uh, downwards here, and there you go. This is the Dell Optiplex 77 Ultra. It's a nice, easy, slim, light form factor here. It's pretty cool, I've gotta say. That's the whole computer, that's it. All the ports and all the processing unit and the storage is actually in this unit here. It's pretty crazy. I love it. Let's have a look at the ports. Starting on the top of the computer, we've got the power button and then we've got the exhaust vent. Look on the left side of the computer, we've got the headphone jack, we've got the intake vent and then we've got the hard drive activity light and then there's a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. Now this is type C and then we've got a USB 3.2 Gen 1. Now this is USB type a port and that does support power share and look on the bottom of the computer we've got two usb 3.2 gen 1 ports again this is type a and it does support power share as well and then we've got the rj45 ethernet port and then we've got the where you plug in the ac power and then we've got another usb 3.2 gen 2 type c port here and this is where you more than likely you plug in the supply usb to display port cable and then on the right side we've got more intake vent and then we've got the security lock slot where you can put in the Kensington lock to lock this thing down. So what can the Southern Sony Ultra can be configured with? Now with the processor wise it is using the 8th generation Intel Core and you can configure it anywhere between an i3, an i5 or an i7. Now as for the RAM wise it's got two sole dim slots so you can go up to a maximum of 64 gigs. That's pretty a lot for this little small tiny computer and as for storage wise it does have one slot of M.2 and there is a SATA also header there so you should be able to say you can put in a two and a half inch hard drive that's what in the documentation I don't know where you will physically fit that in but maybe in the other mounting points you can probably put a two and a half inch hard drive into it but it does have the header for the two SATA hard drive there so that's pretty cool now as for the graphics of course you use Intel integrated graphics now it's cool. it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth of course so what comes in the box for the Dell Optiplex 77 Ultra of course it comes with the unit itself and the monitor stand and notice I said the monitor stand and not the monitor so it does actually come with a monitor just the monitor stand now this monitor stand is also the enclosure for the Dell Optiplex 77 Ultra now because this stand has the standard mounting points for your Dell monitors and I think a few other manufacturers have the same sort of mounting points as well you can actually put other sizes of monitors here so you can put a 27 inch you can put a 32 inch you can put a 34 inch you can whatever your heart desire on there as long as it actually has these mounted points now this is the standard one for dell monitors and of course it comes with a 65 watt power adapter now this is actually quite light as well and the end of it is a barrel star now this barrel star is a smaller barrel star you actually see these in the dell xps old L xps before they actually went to usb see so this is the actual barrel style there and the other thing that comes with is a display cable actually so this is a, a USB C to a full-size display port cable now this is around about 
50 centimeters long. And that's what comes in the box. Because the Optiplex 77 Ultra comes with the monitor stand, I'll just show you some of the functionality and adjustments that you can do for the monitor. Now, of course, you can do your tilt up and down, and you can also can do swivel left and right as well. Now, the way that swivel happens is at the very bottom of the base, and it doesn't actually move the base itself, which is great. So you can see as I'm swiveling, that pretty much stays still, which is great. So you're actually not knocking other stuff that's on your desk, which is good to see. And of course, this is height adjustable as well. Now, because it doesn't come with the monitor, itself so well i'm going to give you the, the measurements of the height of each one and that will be from the very top i'm just going to show this right here i'm going to bring this out so let me take this off here so i'm going to show you the height of up from here is the measurement i'm going to tell you so the maximum height from the top of this mountain point to the table is 40 centimeters and from the minimum and i don't think this will stay now it needs monitors to keep this there but the minimum of the top of this mountain point up here to the table is 28 centimeters and of course when you actually put a monitor back on just like this and of course now this is a 20 four inch monitor and i'm just going to give you just a brief roughly at its maximum height for a 24 inch dell monitor here and this will be 49.5 centimeters from the top of this monitor to the table for those that's wondering how does the 77 ultra works with a monitor arm because it comes with the monitor stand don't worry dell's got your back there there is a monitor arm enclosure version for the 77 ultra and it pretty much goes along the side you'll see on the picture here just to let you know that the dell optiplex 77 ultra does not come with speakers so you do need to plug in headphones or speakers to the audio out jack I did have a look at the temperatures and fan noise of this 77 Ultra. Now, when I took the measurements, my ambient temperatures was 25 degrees Celsius. And I took the base measurement when the computer was on idle and the hottest area of the stand with the computer inside was 35 degrees Celsius with the core hitting an average of 50 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it hit a maximum of 29 decibels. So that's practically quiet. Then I put the computer on 20% load. So that's pretty much average use. So this would be tasks like office productivity work, surfing the web, streaming videos, and the hottest area measured in at 38 degrees Celsius with the core averaging anywhere between 61 to 80 degrees celsius and as for the fan noise hit a maximum of 30 decibels so still very very quiet i've got to admit and then i'll put the computer on a hundred percent load and the hottest area measured in at 41.5 degrees celsius with the core temperature hitting anywhere between 87 to 97 degrees celsius and the fan noise hit a maximum of 40 decibels so you do hear a little bit but it's not really crazy loud let's have a look at the internals first off i'm going to look at the back now as you can see there's a door here so it's just made of look taking a phillips head here and i'm just going to remove that screw there and you can quite easily leave this door open now there's not really much to see here the only thing you need to take note of is this one here which is the starter header so you can actually plug in uh, the two and a half inch SATA hard drive now where to store that I'm still working that out but pretty much the cable will come out and it will come out somewhere and then it's a matter of just trying to work out where to store that two and a half inch hard drive because this is a lot that thin that's all now we're going to actually flip this around and now how to actually open this up now as you can see there's a text on down here and then we've got the power button up here now these ways is just to hold it like that here and just put grip it with your thumbs and push your thumbs that way here and so we'll just push it in as you can see it unclips and then you can quite easily lift this open up here i'm just going to put this one down here and we're going to show you so you can straight away see the two sodium slots so we've got one here and we've got the other one here i've got one ram slot currently in there and down here is the m.2 ssd hard drive and then we've got the wireless and Bluetooth card right here as well too. But that's pretty much it. There's not really much you can do to upgrade besides the RAM, but it's really nice and easy to access the RAM slots. I did perform the benchmarks for this particular unit. Now this unit was configured with an i5 
65U processor with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gig SSD hard drive. So I'll put up the scores for Passmark, Citibench, PC Mark 10, 3D Mark, Crystal Disk Mark, MATLAB 2020B, and Spec View Pref. Overall, I think this Dell Optiplex 77 Ultra is a very interesting form factor and I really do like it because quite simply, you can pretty much just whip this thing out, take it out and you pretty much got very easy access to this nice little compact computer here. Now, I can definitely see this running around in a lot of like computer labs or even pod systems as well for big businesses that actually run a lot of these workstations. So the actual ID department can quite easily just bring this around rather than actually lug around these old ones with the whole big monitors or even the desktop computers. That will be, very, it's actually quite heavy as well. So, and this is extremely hard. You can even take this away overseas with you or you're traveling with it. Then all you need to do is just borrow someone's keyboard and mouse or monitor in there. And this is all you got, everything here good to go. So that's pretty sweet and neat format hack there. I can definitely see ID department will just have stackers of these in there ready to go to actually do a quick swap replacement for one of these pod system sort of computers here. It's absolutely brilliant. I think this is a great form factor, it's extremely easy. I had the other one I see a lot is the micro, but this is even smaller than that, I've got to admit, and this is even nicer, and it's actually hidden away as well too. So less theft, I've got to say, for this one here. Absolute brilliant form factor, I can definitely see that. So I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, smack that like button for me or even to support my channel, smack that like button for me as well. And if you hadn't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button below on the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.